Minister you. for the Environment will bring his proposals to Cabinet in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, the Cabinet will consider these proposals and make decisions about them. The bill will then be published and put through the Doyle uh, and the Shannon. The, uh, the bill will deal with the questions that the Deputy has raised. Uh, I, I want to say that I think it's, it's not good for you or for anybody else in here to uh, put out a view that you can uh, put people in a position where they're building up a debt for the future. The government have listened very carefully to what the people have said and have introduced a level of charging for water that we think is fair and is affordable. And uh, it's, not, um, it's not a good thing, Deputy Murphy, to say to people, put off this uh, and build up a debt as a consequence. I think there's a sense of fairness here that you don't seem to realise. The vast majority of people who have signed up as customers of Irish Water and who will continue to sign up as Irish Water customers want to know that their neighbours, including you, will make their contribution uh, for the production of quality Irish, uh, quality Irish water uh, in, in the coming years. So your questions uh, about courts and um, uh, all of these matters will be dealt with in the bill to be produced by the government following its decision in regard to the Minister's propositions. There's a need for compliance here, Deputy Murphy, a need for people to understand that there will be equality in that compliance and that uh, everybody uh, who can pay uh, should pay and will pay. Um, in that sense, uh, the bill will come before the House inside a matter of weeks and people will have their opportunity to discuss and debate it. We've gone beyond the point, uh, Deputy Murphy, of, um, of, uh, of not facing into this. Uh, the country has to deal with it. Um, and I'm very heartened by the continuing strong support in registrations for uh, people signing up. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.